yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Um, welcome back to the F&B podcast, everybody. Yes. <laughs> nice, subtle entrance. Uh, little two-week hiatus, but we're fucking back. Yeah. Cheers. Red wine shit. What is this, Cabernet? Uh, red blend. Red I blend. didn't want to get a cab because I was drinking, I was day drinking, and I feel like just, I've been fucking with this, uh, Curious this winery. Curious Beasts. Yeah. The Chardonnay is hits. The red red blend hits. Red blends are pretty delicious. Yeah, yeah. I was looking for a Pinot, and I didn't want to go as heavy as a cab, so I was like, let me get the red blend. They didn't have a Pinot, so. Mm. But yeah, everybody, welcome That's back fun. to the F&B Podcast. Your two fucking favorite waiters. Jamal. Logan and Jamal. Jamal, Jamal and Logan. Back at it once again. Yes. With our pen and pad and our fucking serving tray. Uh-huh. <laughs> iPad in hand as well. Hell yeah. Every, <laughs> everything needed, for sure. Yeah, I just had a little mise en place last week, so that's why we didn't have one. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, but welcome back, everybody. As always, uh, shout out to our old listeners, new listeners, first time listeners, mm-hmm. anybody who's given us a chance. Shout yeah. out to you all. As always, you can find us on Stitcher Radio, iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, all that good shit. YouTube? Yes, YouTube. Ooh, YouTube and our Pinterest, actually. Yeah. Hit up our snackables, our IGTV, mm. hit it up, load it up. <laughs> the main thing we need from YouTube is subscriptions. Mm-hmm. Um, no wonder people are like, subscribe, subscribe for subscribe, because subscriptions <laughs> are really hard to... If you like what you see, hit that bell yeah. and, and give us a subscription. <laughs> exactly. We'd greatly appreciate it. Fuck yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, because like to get a monetized channel, you have to have at least 1,000 subscriptions and... like certain amount of watch hours and the watch hours is super easy i don't know for snackables and what you know what i'm doing like it's like ten thousand watch hours or maybe a thousand watch hours and thousands that's subscriptions actually pretty low it's just getting that the subscriptions people to be like all right subscribers. i'm subscribed to the notifications or whatever mm-hmm. we're working on it we're working on it <laughs> fuck yeah bro see you on the internet but uh it's been two weeks i know our mozart is very uh very I'm delicate very... right now yeah <laughs> But uh, how's your uh, your F and B shit been going, bro? How's uh hotel life, restaurant life, it's fatherhood, everything <laughs> is going great. I might Excellent. say. Excellent. Dope, yeah. dope, 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 dope. Um, just been working a lot. I mean, we just had Valentine's Day, and uh, we're in the middle of February. The one thing that's lately been happening is, I swear, dude, like, isn't February supposed to be like the slowest month of the year for like travel? Like that's what they say if you like off season travel. It's like February and like. October is supposed to be the best time. So yeah, to go. usually. Because then, I mean, March you have spring break, and April you can have a spring break. I guess it depends on what districts and college yeah. and stuff like Valentine's that. Valentine's Day is a holiday, but it's just it's kind of just like a little boop. Yeah. In the middle of. But there is that with President's week. Day weekend though, yeah. kind of, which is connected all into that. So I mean. Yeah, that's true. But well, yeah, still these these travel though for sure because it's right after fucking Christmas and New Year's. Mm-hmm. I just went to fucking Florida, yada yada. Mm-hmm. I just spent all this money for Christmas going to Florida mm-hmm. and all this stuff, and that's like that that Valentine's like date night is kind of like that bloop in the middle of, you know, February. But like, dude, the hotel is like packed with kids right now, and I'm just like. <sighs> I I thought they're supposed to be in school, dude. Exactly. You know, don't you motherfuckers got your class to go to like here? six year olds, dude? Like today, um, I was supposed to get an eight top, but then some they didn't show up for like twenty minutes or something. So then I ended up getting a ten top where the eight top was supposed to be. Cool, cool. And I was really glad about it because the ten top was all adults and the eight top was four adults and four kids and the kids were just like screaming and all kinds of shit. I'm just like, whoo! I got so lucky there. My rule with children, I'm sorry, people with children. I love kids, but I hate kids. Oh, dude. Especially at restaurants. Exactly. And that's my rule. And same thing, it's, it applies to dogs, too. I like mm-hmm. my dog. I like my friend's dogs. But I don't like other people's dogs. You know what I mean? And same thing with the kids. Like, I like my kids. I usually like my friend's kids. But strangers' kids, like random people's kids, I do not like them. Because they're I, such bad parents, dude. Especially when I'm the working. Dogs. They're bad it, it, dog it seems parents. like the worst parents come to restaurants. Like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Or they just turn their brain off and just like they, li- you can tell they're just on purpose not paying attention. Their kid mm-hmm. is making a mess and they're just like, "Fuck it, dude! I'm at dinner. I'm just gonna enjoy my dinner. I'm just gonna sit here and look the other way and just like barely." I understand you kids. can get to that point, but you you have to do that at your house. Yeah. When you just all right, we're gonna just eat in peace while they can't, they destroy everything around us. Not the restaurant though. This is still like a, a business establishment. Mm-hmm. Common courtesy to others. Yeah, and it's. I mean, it's just not paying that attention. Like you see, parents do it. They pay the. They pay that attention. Mm-hmm. 
there's some out there, but I mean, same thing like like with the dog too. It's like you know you go over to someone's house and the dog's like <gasps> jumping all over me. I'm just like, hey, get down. And then it's just like the owner of the dog just like neglects the whole <laughs> situation. I'm like your dog keeps on jumping on me or nipping at my heels or something. And like I'm not okay with this. Dude. Like <laughs> I turn around the dog gets my knee. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. you know, like <laughs> this guy's in battle stance. He's ready, yeah. ready to fucking pounce. Like, like hey. you can't tell that your dog is super aggressive right now. Like <laughs> the fuck? he's coming from the mouth. He's just, <laughs> yeah, yo. Help, like, <laughs> yeah, can you help me? And I'm just like, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. your dog, your dog. That's true. Dog, yeah, dogs and kids, same category, dude. Some people, it's just bad because, like, that saying, there's no bad dog, it's just a bad dog parent or something like that. Very right? true, very true. I mean, don't you get kind of annoyed with like people who have service dogs, but they're not service dogs and they have them in the restaurant? It's like, you motherfucker, like, yeah, and then they get mad, like. One time this happened in Vegas where this lady brought in this dog, which is a little, like, I don't know, yappy dog. Like, it had long hair, maybe, I don't know. Just a yapper? Yeah. A yapsu? Yeah. (laughs) And um, she put it on the chair. And in Nevada, and I'm pretty sure everywhere else, that's a violation, a health code violation, for a dog to be on a chair. The dog, if it's a service dog, it has to be on the ground. Mm -hmm. And so sure enough, she puts on the chair, my manager, you know, hey, man, like. Get, please just no don't have the dog on the chair so he's like oh my god oh, like calling you know saying that he's um, like, I profiling see, her i can't see what this motherfucker on the yeah. chair like <laughs> and he's just like ma'am it's just a health code violation please like don't do that and then she got all crazy 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 and then she put the dog on the ground and then five minutes later she thought it was still sneaky brought her back up and she's like feeding the dog off of her plate into the yeah. chair and he's like that is why it's a health code violation you're literally doing what they don't want you to do People have no respect for restaurants. Oh, dude. Compared to, like, regular businesses and shit like that, like, I couldn't open some shit at Walmart, eat it, and be like, oh, I don't like it. I don't want it. Like, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I think like, people I mean, do can. that, though. Yeah. You can. Of course you can, but. Would that be shoplifting? If you Okay, so if you go in and you eat a pack of cheese, are you shoplifting that cheese because you stole it? Kind of. You know? Or, I mean, because the thing is, you can open, like, say... Everybody's opened a drink, started to drink it, and then like then paid for it. Like yeah, I, we've all done that. Yeah, yeah of course. I did that. The well, other I'm day. dying at thirst, bro. Like yeah. Yeah, I'm right here online. Like <laughs> I was drunk the the birthday, my night birthday. I went in there, got Aquafina, and drank two of them. I didn't realize I opened both of them. <laughs> so I, was like, I had two open. I was like, oh shit, I'm double fisting right now. <laughs> I was so thirsty, I just started drinking both. Security was ready to shoot. They were like, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this drunk guy's not gonna pay for his two Aquafinas. Exactly. Yeah, but I mean. Just everything situational based, I guess. Because if you're if you're yeah. in the aisle, versus if you're in the like the cash line, the cashier line and shit. Yeah. If you're in the aisle, like, uh, and just like throw it on the side. Exactly. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pay for that. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up after I'm done shopping. A little I'm gonna more. come back around because I know it's trash, so people will leave it there for sure. Yeah, yeah. They'll it. know that it it's mine. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, the whole respect part of, I think it's because you're in you're like a, like the Stony Castle theory, like. We're a servant. Oh, that's true. We're technically a The people at Walmart don't really work for me. Yeah. They're just kind of there if I need their help. Mm-hmm. But they don't really work for me. Ah. Walmart's providing a... Pro, Walmart is providing goods to them. We're pro- providing a service. So yeah, we're yeah, yeah. in service to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So facts, therefore, facts. they have a leg up on a power on us. Mm-hmm. Walmart could just be like, no, we're not going to sell you that. Exactly. Oops. Yeah. I will leave a bad help with you, like... Okay. <laughs> and. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure there is no four-star Walmart. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, right? <laughs> Every single Walmart you look at is probably three and other, under, dude. Well, I mean, Walmart's a dope company because they employ all types of people. But their downfall is they all also employ all types of people. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can never get that, that five-star service at Walmart. But Like, if you cannot find a job anywhere, they'll probably hire you. Yeah. You know, and realistically, can... Walmart probably has good benefits, all that shit. Like, <laughs> I think it kind of does, actually. Usually, big-ass companies like that do. So I know Costco does and stuff like that. Oh, so. yeah. But Costco is like a legit true, warehouse. True, 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 true. But with Walmart, I think the main thing is just like really low pay. You know, you only make it nine dollars an hour, yeah. but you do get like some sort of health care and everything. Yeah, but it's probably like I mean, hey, yeah. uh, my homeboy or my friend or whatever, he lives in Idaho, got a one bedroom apartment for seven hundred bucks. I mean, you might be able to live off a of Walmart salary. You might be able to make it work. Oh yeah, in Vegas, dude. I've, I mean, I hear people here. I'm about to disclose my tax information. <laughs> oh shit! In the spirit of oh, tax shit. season coming up right now, <laughs> IRS listening to like yeah. 
<laughs> they turned up the game. Like. <laughs> I made like thirty five thousand dollars last year, and I survived in Vegas too. Nice, no nice, problem. Nice, nice, I paid nice. rent. I paid the bills. I traveled a couple times. I mean, of course, I had some savings that I dipped into a couple times when when I was uh, living too much of a lavish life. But all in all, like you can totally survive on for sure. What is that? Thirty five thousand, so five hundred a week. You know, and I mean, if you're working ten dollars an hour, that's four hundred a week. But still, yet yeah, like. I had a really nice apartment, and so I could have been living more ghetto, or mm-hmm. you know, I could have sacrificed like my car. Or different yeah, things. yeah, yeah like, for sure. If I was sure. riding the bus, that's, I mean, my car's four hundred dollars a month right there, you know, between facts, insurance facts, and facts. everything. So, if I sacrificed that, I could for sure have actually probably been saving money off of thirty-five thousand a year. But then it makes me think, like, damn, I wish I was making a hundred grand. <laughs> I would be up seventy grand right now. It's a, it's <laughs> oh just... shit. <laughs> I'm going to just make more. Yeah. <laughs> so I can't spend it all. <laughs> so I kind of like it now. Like, I'm making more in Hawaii, but Hawaii's fucking expensive. Hell yeah, bro. That shit is no joke. Yeah. I saw, um, like, a study of, like, most expensive cities in the world. Dude, Honolulu's, like, number seven, I think. Damn, I, I, I thought it'd be higher, realistically. Well, I mean, we're up against, like, <clears throat> Tokyo. Most of the other places, like, Hong Kong. It's, like, Hong Kong, Tokyo. Are these big-ass, you know, like... Megatropolis places. And this is, like the city of tokyo not like around it so yeah. it's like it's like saying you live in like downtown honolulu like you know you live in tokyo tokyo <laughs> you're living in tokyo not not shibuya or saitama or like kanagawa yeah, or something I live you're next in to the tokyo airport, but... <laughs> and the main thing is the real estate is fucking jacked up prices that's the main difference between them and us why they have more like our goods and everything is way more expensive but their fucking real estate's like for literally a room this size of like this in Hong Kong, no, like yeah. nine hundred dollars or something. Yeah, this room is lit. Like, <laughs> yeah, this You're, is a, a nice ass room <laughs> in Hong Kong. Like, bro, and you you'd be double decorating it too. You'd be it, sharing it with your roommate. You know, it, hey, I would be in here. <laughs> <laughs> fucking lit, like. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think we were right above Auckland. I didn't even realize Auckland, New Zealand, is actually a very expensive place too. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, high standard of living, guarantee there. Round trip Hawaiian Airlines, eight hundred bucks. But I mean, also high cost of living, high pay, quote unquote. I guess you can say a higher pay. Yeah, those people like in New York, in Tokyo, and they work in travel in the business districts. Mm-hmm. You know, so they're probably making fat catch. Yeah, yeah they sure, they can support sure. that. I like that. Yeah. So, Honolulu, man, it's tough going around here. We're up there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, motherfuckers do you feel okay so i was talking about this yesterday is um in honolulu the crazy thing is like no matter where we go we can always run into like a homeless person or someone that's like like a crackhead or something like oh, yeah, fuck a yeah. crazy person on drugs i should say uh, i said there's the zombies everywhere here yeah sure. zombie count there's, that's there's, what zombies. There's zombies i've seen a lot of zombies in florida but i've seen a lot more in hawaii like it's a lot more prevalent in our everyday life. Yeah. Like, if we go to the local supermarket right now, we could for sure run into a zombie. There's like, okay, so there's like, a high in the chance. mainland, there's like zombie areas, but here they're just kind of just scattered everywhere. Like, exactly. Just... They're they're integrated everywhere. You could be, like, you could be in a, and that's why we're talking about, like, maybe Kohala. And I was like, dude, no way. There's Waikiki, like. <laughs> yeah, or Kohala, probably the highest real estate. Like, no house is less than $2 million in that whole city of mm-hmm. Kohala. And there's still zombies there, dude. Yeah. You still can run into them at the mall, at your market, like, no matter what. I was saying, like, when I, even in Vegas, you think Vegas, oh, such a sketchy city. But I left, I lived, like, 20 minutes from downtown Vegas and stuff. And I could go, like, a whole month without seeing a zombie. Just because I'm in the suburbs, dude. I'm going back and forth to work. I don't see one Bro, zombie last night. Whole time. I was driving in fucking Fort Weaver. There's just this chick with a suitcase on the side of the road. I'm packing that shit. It's fucking pouring rain. Really? And she's just sitting on the ground, like, and I was just like, fucking you zombies see- everywhere. Dude, they're everywhere did you ever see the zombie at pro ridge he's like a he's kind of like a really burnt white guy which is a type of zombie really burnt white guys are the scariest zombies out there dude those fuckers are like devil looking dude um but there's one that's like a resident at the mall and uh crazy thing is the last time i saw him he was standing in the middle of the parking lot by macy's where the oncoming traffic was coming in and he had he was wearing a dress and pulling up his dress oh and he had the a bald big, guy yeah, the bald guy. Yeah, bro. He's, he's, yeah, that guy's crazy as fuck. He has a huge dick, dude. <laughs> and he had his dress all the way up. And he's like, ah, ah, like shaking at all the cars, dude. And we're just like, what the fuck is going on? And we see a girl walk past him. So we park to make sure, like, this guy doesn't beat her up or anything. And then she walks, like, 
really close to him while on her phone the whole time. Like a, she's a zombie too because she's on her phone and she walks like within ten feet of mm-hmm. him when she could for sure walk at least fifty feet away from him in the same direction. I see that guy all the time. Walking, I was at the light, and that's the first my first encounter was using a dress. I was like, this fucking guy in that dress, like yo. I want to say he when the first time I seen him, he was in like a dress, like a pink dress, and he had like a kid's bike with him. Oh yeah, he has a kid bike. And I was just like, what the There's fuck? There's one wheel is, smaller than the like, one. What the bigger. fuck is going on, like yo? And he's bald, just you know, yeah. He is twacked out. I <laughs> didn't see him after. He that. looks strong as fuck too. Like oh, dude, <laughs> he's know, scary. Like, yeah. looking. His eyes, dude. <laughs> this guy looks dangerous. <laughs> but I'm like, for sure, he went to jail that day, right? <laughs> Like, there's too much... At least 100 people saw him waving his dick around, and he was f- for sure very high. But I saw him the other day, and I haven't <clears> seen him since that. So I was like, was he in jail for three months? Like, I I always wonder about the zombies, like, following... I want to do, like, a documentary. Mm-hmm. Like, follow them around, like, and see what their day-to-day hey, life Hey, bro, is. they get around. I've seen a guy in Coppola, and I've seen this motherfucker on Pearl Ridge. Like, damn, motherfucker, you made it far. Like, yeah. <laughs> like holy shit. <laughs> I thought I got away from you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, they travel. I mean, it, it sucks if you're in a kind of situation, uh, the government, or usually it's some kind of like veteran. Yeah. What is that? PTSD or whatever? Oh, yeah. That's some kind of shit that has you fucked up situation. But yeah, that's just wild, bro. I mean, <clears throat> that and, you know, I, I feel like a lot of times it's also drugs. Oh, 100%. Like, meffed I out mean, people. Yeah, you cracked out, meffed out. It is weird to like be able to do it to yourself, you know, to. To, to not one person in this world is like, I did a bunch of meth and I made a successful life out of it. You know? Like, I, I see it as like any kind of little addiction or you're like, or like, okay, I'll, I'll just take one more hit, bro. Just take one more hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just one more, bro. <laughs> and you need it. <laughs> I bet you're like, all right, fuck, I need one more hit. <laughs> Look at, where'd you put it at, bro? They, you probably <laughs> feel, the fuck, did you put it fucking great on it, honestly? Like, in a bad way. Oh, I ever said if, like, the world was ending, like, say, a giant asteroid was coming, and there was nothing we could do about it, I'd be like, all right, let me, you know, bust out the meth, motherfucker. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we going to be dying anyways. Like, yo, might as well get fucking you, extremely you faded. You do it, dude? No way. That's crazy. Dude, what if the asteroid misses, and then you're like, no, you're the guy waving your big dick at the wall, dude. <laughs> you're like, oh, fuck. I'm like, Jamal, your little dreads all become one big weird exactly. dread, like just, how those crazy guys have. I'm just hitting it while it flies past. It doesn't hit us like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. I made a huge mistake. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, if that was the case, though, I'd probably be like, hey, let me take fucking 10 tabs of acid or some shit. Oh. Just, hey, are we going to die anyways? I might as well leave the earth mentally first. I mean, that or I would do like some skydiving or something. I don't know. True. I would just go to the top of a mountain and just, like, look out. Be like, at least it's going to be a good view of that meteor hidden. Word, word. Yeah. I mean, were were you aware that the the nuclear bomb was going to land on Hawaii before? Like, your day. Remember the nuclear bomb? Oh, the ballistic day? missile threat? The ballistic missile. What What is your story of the ballistic missile? See, I just woke up and just... Eh, eh, your, so your phone was going off. I looked at my phone. I was like, what? I just, looked, I just like, saw... I was, just, I was living in Makakilo... Excuse me, at the time, so I had a good ass view of like uh, diamond headed and all that shit. Yeah. So I just looked at my blinds, kind of just looked up, and I was like, "Well, ain't nothing I can really do at this very moment." So I just stayed in bed. And, like, you know, yeah. Was just like, I'm like, not gonna. F- did you have like a weird anxiety attack? Did you call your mom? No, or something? I just like, I was like, "Well, <laughs> nothing I can do right now." Because so I woke up and I was like, "I don't see shit in the sky," and I was like, "Well, that shit's probably fucking coming." Like, yeah. yeah. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm not going to be able to get to the airport or to the harbor or wherever. Or underground or whatever they want you to do. In enough time. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Kai just slept through that shit too. So I was like, well, happens, it happens. Did Kai's phone go off too? Yeah, because we both got iPhones, but he, he stayed asleep. But my iPhone didn't go off. Interesting. Yeah. I had mine in my pocket and never sent me it. But I don't have the... I think it's those emergency flash flood alert things. I don't have that on my phone. I hate that thing. I turned it off. Interesting. Well... They have a. I know the government has a way to contact all cell phones. No matter what, yeah. With a text message, but that, it's not. That was a different kind of thing, though. Mm-hmm. I heard. I mean, the hotel was wild. I heard people were crying and screaming and shit. Dude, I guess I'll tell my story about the nuclear. Oh, okay, perfect, bomb perfect. M- mine wasn't too interesting. I mean, yeah. I looked around and I was like, well, if it comes down, I guess it's coming. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna take a little snoozer. I'll be exactly. Good. Well, at least yours was a, a pleasant experience. <laughs> 
And that is the first part of Snackables. This is going to be a two-part series. It's going to be okay. Jamal's experience with a nuclear bomb, and it's going to be Red Logan's Hill experience. and Blue Hill. Yes, exactly. So mine is, uh, it's, it's a Saturday morning. I'm working buffet brunch, which is a super busy ass buffet. Actually, there's about a million people yeah. walking around. Like, we know. do probably about 500 covers that day, at least, close enough. Um, you know, rolling through service, freaking super busy. Uh, and I have this family that's like uh, like seven people, and it's like grandpa, grandma who are really old, and then mom, dad, and then like a sister, and then like two kids. So I don't even know if that's seven. It might be seven. Whatever. Um, so mom and dad and mom, dad has like a gluten allergy or something. One of the people on the table had an allergy of some sort and I think it's like peanuts or something. And so sure enough, I'm serving and then the, I noticed that they're standing up to, you know, the mom is like, come on to the grandpa and the grandpa. And they're like, mm, cause they're old. So it's taking them a while to get up. Well, yeah, that's what I was like, <laughs> hey. well, I thought there was like an allergy or something. You know, oh, okay. I thought like someone was having like an allergic reaction. Like we have to get to the hospital. And then, cause like they were in like an old people rush, dude. They were, they were probably like 80 years old. And these are like, mm, like, dude, like I'm coming. Yeah. Like, I'm it, coming. As if I had like a thousand pounds on my back. Like that was the old man, you know, like, but I'm still trying to get up. Like, let's go. And um, so I go up like, oh, it's, you know, everything okay. Like server thinking I'm fucked up. And then she just like turns her phone around on me and shows me. And then she's like, what do we do about this? And it said missile coming in from it, Hawaii. It said ballistic and missile incoming. That shit was funny. Like, yeah. It, this is not a threat or something. This a, is not a drill. Yeah, that shit real. Like, and like capitals too. Just awful. like. Bro, I looked at it, she's like, what do we do? Like, as if I've seen this before. I'm like, uh, fuck. Run? I don't know. <laughs> and then, so I was like, I don't know. And then I turn around, and the security guard, I see her, she comes, and she, she's like, get everyone downstairs. Like, she just yells it at us. And then we're just like, okay. And then I, uh, you know, I help him and them go downstairs, and I, I take the old man to, like, the urinal, like, Oh, the you're bathroom. a hero. You're a hero. Okay. Yeah, help them all, like, shuttle downstairs. Real. This, he, he, okay, yo, this is, hold on. Sorry to interrupt. This is a five-star service. Bro, five. Real quick, star. this motherfucker kept serving while he was about to die, bro. There was a missile incoming, and Logan kept serving, bro. Straight firefighter style. Yeah. Just like, come on, everyone, and, like, just. Nominate this guy for employee of the month, yeah. Dude, me and Chris, dude, it was Chris and I, because other people started freaking out, like, calling the parents, crying, like. And people literally the the you can hear the all the phones start going off like bah, 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 and then you hear like kind of hush like huh, 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 like people's like huh, talking to you like and it's like huh, 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 and it gets louder huh, 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 huh. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone, dude people are screaming like running like oh my god I'm gonna die like ripping their hands up <laughs> so this happens and I'm just like shit like everyone let's just go downstairs and there's people like where do I go like it's running through the crowd big ass people. fucking hallways yeah, and shit like, you gotta go through yeah going through the kitchen the like staircase there yeah. and then so I was just helping this old guy I'm so like, happy I wasn't there that day oh, so dude, happy I was not there that day fucking so gnarly and then so I help him go downstairs i take him he has to use the bathroom so we go like i show him where the bathroom is and then he uses the urinal bring him back to his family then i'm like fuck i realize like bro i need to call my mom and my girlfriend <laughs> so and downstairs there's no cell phone reception so i go back upstairs and then i you know i call my mom i call my girlfriend you know i love you guys blah 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 and stuff and i stand there standing at the ocean i was like man should i just go swim right now <laughs> And it's then, real. and then all of a sudden, all these Japanese like photographers come running up, like the wedding photographers that take pictures of the beach, like carrying all the equipment and shit, like tripods, and they're like, "We're downstairs," and I'm just like, "Fuck, I guess I'm not going to the beach now." And then, so I go and help these Save Japanese more guys. people. He's yeah, more people. open the door so they go downstairs, and then because I I open the door and I hear like crying and screaming coming from the hallway, and it's a, the elevator lobby. And then, so I help these Japanese people go downstairs, and I'm just like, fuck, I guess I gotta go check out this, like, crying and screaming down the hall, and just help these people go downstairs, too. Yeah. And then I go around the corner, and to the, and I, cause I can't see it's the hallway, and then it goes to the lobby, and it opens up. So where that is, that's the lowest button that they can press. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, from the, the, you know what I mean? Like, it's like that hallway is called lower lobby. That's when they press the lowest thing, that's the bottom. Yeah. So I come and I turn around the corner, fucking packed with people, dude. Like a hundred people. To get that with and it. with also their luggage, shit. crying <laughs> children, crying parents. Like, people just do oh, going that's crazy. That's a day to never forget. That's crazy. And I turn the corner, I'm literally the only employee, too. So I turn the corner, I'm the only person, like, wearing, like, Employee outfit, blue, they ass, all, fucking, like, blue ass fucking shirt. Like, yeah, yeah, just sticking out like a highlighter with an like, apron and everything. I'm just like, and my name tag, like, hi everybody. Uh, we might all die, but we can maybe survive. You it's know, safe. like, let's come downstairs and then you know, I I help the kids and everything. I, we all go downstairs, then we we wait it out. You know, pass out waters to everyone, and then of course they're like false alarm. 
everything's okay. And then I was like, this is where it gets best. This is where it gets super effing best. Okay, right? interesting. So then I go and I I open the door for everyone back at the top to to come out the stairs. So I'm sitting there holding the door open for literally like hundreds of people. So it takes 10 to 15 minutes at least to hold this door open for people filing out the door. Mm -hmm. Just like, whoo, that was crazy, right? Man, I had a good scare there. And like, all right, have a great day. You know, just, uh, and then I'm holding the door open and then I go back into the restaurant. It is fucking packed, dude. And it's packed with people looking around like, where's my server at? (laughs) Like they were like, why can I get service? I really need coffee. I'm still waiting for that fucking catch it bro like, yeah like it's not even a double sat or a triple sat dude it's like an octa sat like all eight of my tables literally sat with new tables and everyone's literally like i need water now and just like oh my god dude and then like people were literally like roughing me up dude like these australian people were talking shit to me like this is such bad service and all this shit i'm just like no fucking way but this motherfucker, there was a new other strike five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and then I was like, that was the t- that was the worst day ever, like for serving wise, because I come back to eight octasat and just like everyone is like, where's my water and shit? Like they it went back to like as if I just took a fifteen minute break <laughs> and my section got full and they didn't know where I was. Dude. Yeah. They said, yo, look, where the fuck you been at, bro? <laughs> yeah. Bro, fucking ruthless, dude. Ruthless. And I'm like that day is literally the day I broke. Dude. I heard stories from that day from other people and that shit. I'm just so happy I wasn't there, dog. That just sounds like a crazy ass experience to be in. Amazing just to see what happens and to hear screams and shit like that. It's funny as fuck, but damn, that sucks. Piercing screams. Oh, hell yeah. That's the, the blood curdling like, I'm about to die. Like, Bro, the, my favorite was like, I still think of the lady like in the movies, you know, when people are like, oh my God, we're going to die. Like grabbing the hair. Dude, a lady literally did that. Like, oh. <laughs> Like, and I'm just like, oh shit! This lady's never almost died before. Did anybody just dip on the guests? Like, did any employees like, uh, like dip out of work or just something? dipped to their car? Like, I'm out of this motherfucker. Uh, yeah, I, think I could so. see some like pool attendants, I think a couple busters or something. You just like, yo, fuck this shit, like, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're just, you're just like, I, I was thinking, fuck, I should have done that. I should have went swimming and never came back. Like. Who would have known? I would have left. It was a nuclear fucking bomb, dude. Yeah. If there's a reason to call out of work, it's because you thought a bomb was going to land <laughs> on your job. Motherfucker, fuck my job. <laughs> yeah. And one could be, I should, in, in hindsight, like, I should have just went home. I mean, I have that story now, and I, it sucks, but I wish I just would have jumped in my car and drove home to true, my true, family. True, true. Like, <laughs> family over everything. I mean, uh, you were honorable, very honorable, bro. Can't even, you saved Shit, little. The first thing you should never do is go in a packed ass elevator and hundred people. Like, you know, that shit oh, never yeah. goes anywhere usually. Like, but I did get a lot of like, um, guest recognition things. Hell yeah, we get this motherfucker purple hearts, bro. Like, I know, you know, like I should got something, an award or something. They know. just said like how great it was. You should have been the mayor, the governor, like, yeah, <laughs> a promotion at least. Shook his fucking hand, dog. Shook his hand for sure. Yeah, that was. And then I'm, you know, I'm actually jealous that of the people like how you said that had no idea that it was going on. Kind of like you, well. Kai was even more so, like, people that, like, I talked to my friend, I was like, dude, what were you doing when the nuclear bomb happened? Like, that was, like, the talk of the town, like, a week later, like, you know, where were you when the Super Bowl, or, yeah. you know, this, like. People were trying to get in sewers and manholes and shit. Dude, yeah, and just, like, dri- and or even worse, they're on the road, and people are driving, like, fucking <laughs> Running red lights. <laughs> yeah, exactly, like, chaos literally ensued on the roads for, like, 30 minutes. That's, that's just probably the craziest part, bro. Yeah, and so I was, I, at least I wasn't on the road when that happens. I was, one thing I was happy about. But um, my own friend's like, oh, I was diving. I had no idea. Fuck, I'm so jealous. I was so jealous, dude. <laughs> he would have died a nice peaceful death because he would have been like, damn, the water getting real rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the water just got super rough. <laughs> Man, the water's a little boiling, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The water's a little hot. It's like sizzling on the top. I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, is that a tidal wave? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's just crazy. Oh, imagine me in like, I was the, in the water, Apple store, bro. You can just... Grab and run! Like, yeah. yeah. This is it! Anarchy! <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so. Yeah, red or blue pill, and that's Yeah, that, that was a good-ass story, bro. That, that shit. <laughs> the whole time you're telling me, I just see you on the Titanic. I'm, I'm just busy you on the Titanic, like, helping people and shit. It's oh, funny. yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Imagine the Titanic is splitting in half, and people are just like... And then imagine if the Titanic re-unsplit and stitched back together, and they're like, Why, where's my fucking buffet server at? Yeah. That's the craziest. Let's get back to fucking That literally eating. is the craziest part, because it's like, we're gonna die! 
My ex Benedict's taking fucking mad long, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, where the fuck did my Benedict go? <laughs> it's been, a, I ordered like an hour ago, <laughs> yeah. even though the fucking bomb happened just speak, like 10 minutes ago. Speak to your fucking manager, though. Yeah, can I speak to your manager? My food's taking way too long. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so, a uh, quick intermission. Fucking Navy Air Force. Oh, Air Force doing some secret ops above the house. A bunch tonight. of shit going on. No, that's actually big ass, just regular plane. Oh, there was? Yeah. How was your uh, your Valentine's Day? Damn. Work wise. Was good. You know, the traditional F and B Valentine's. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A, you, a shit ton of two tops. Yeah, good I good money, good day. Yeah. It's pretty good money. Usually because people are more willing to, you know, get an Alcoholic beverage. Facts. Treat your lady to a nice lobster tail. Facts. Buy a New York and lobster tail. Do these oysters sound good? Yes. Facts. Exactly. They're more willing to kind of shell out the little bit of money, so it's good. Um, yeah. Just, you know, made some extra cheddar. So Facts. Not okay. too bad. How about you, sir? All righty. Uh, I mean, pretty good night. I got called in early about 12 o'clock. I think that was the day. Uh, Allie... Oh, I was there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You Allie left early. us. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, so my, my lunch is pretty good. I want to say I mean, we hit like 170. Yeah, lunch wasn't as busy as I thought I was going to get super screwed by that. And I was yeah. not happy about it. It was chill, though. Yeah, it was cruise. Dinner but, um, is where it's at, though, yeah. Yeah, dinner. I failed us. You failed? I failed us, FNB. Oh, no. It happened. I got a bad Yelp review. Really? And they named you Jamal in it? They didn't name me, but I was the only guy server. Oh, so no. Kelsey told me. Was it so, one star? Uh, I don't know. Long ass review. What did you do wrong? They said I was nowhere around. Oh, you're a ninja. That's fine. So okay, so Kelsey comes up to me. I'll tell you. I'll tell everybody the story. Kelsey comes to me. She's like, "Oh, you got a bad review." I was like, "Fuck, what?" Re- I'm reading the review. I'm thinking at a table. Like, all right, they kind of did wait long because I did have this ten top at the same exact time. <laughs> of and I was like, "All right, all right." Kind of disagreeing with the review. Like, I guess so. Yeah, whatever, whatever. So I'm um, reading the review. The first thing they knocked me on, that I didn't deliver their food. That's dumb. They said... Our f- is this, val- this is a Valentine's, this is Valentine's Day? Day? Oh, my God. They're so fucking... They said crazy. our food server had another server bring the food to us. They obviously don't understand a restaurant. Knocked me on that automatically. So, out the gate, just like, damn. My bad. I didn't know. I didn't know that I had to run the apps. I didn't know. My bad, fellow waiters, yo. They knocked me on that. So they thought you were a lazy ass or some shit um, for having someone else. So I was in the 60s and the 70s. Okay, booth. So I was just circling my section the whole time. Yeah. And uh, after I read the review, I'm just chilling in the back polishing. And I'm thinking about service more and more. And I'm like, wait. Their service is kind of, I'm just like, their shit was kind of flawless, matter of fact. Like, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Think, uh, Just thinking back to the table, like, nah, that shit was crispy as fuck. They made it wide right away to, like, a little long for their entrees. But that's natural because it's busy as fuck. Yeah, it's just a busy ass night. Yeah. It's what it is. It is what it is. But, uh. Yeah, I failed. They give, I feel like a total bullshit review, bro. So did they, you fight it to the teeth, kind of? No, uh, Kelsey already agreed with me. She was like, yeah. There's not, <laughs> yeah. They were mad we didn't have no bread pudding. They said I was nowhere to be seen. They were mad I didn't run the food. So they, they said they literally wrote in the review that they wanted to be pampered and nurtured and shit. And I was like... Oh, suck a fat one. Yeah, I was like, damn, well, uh, my bad. <laughs> yeah. you, you cannot make online people happy. <laughs> yeah. Dude... You cannot like I, I today. I heard a progressive commercial where it was like, you know, progressive may not help you against, um, you know, online reviewers, and it was, and it had like an actor saying like, oh, he sold it to me for cheaper than it was. Like it was all like really good things. So he's mm-hmm. like he sold it to me for cheaper. That means he's a liar. Like basically saying he got a deal, and just so it was just saying like really cool things that that's why he was knocking him on because you know, um, but you can't make them all happy, dude. Like. Even at you know the hotel, we got a bad Yelp review. The last bad Yelp review we got, we got a two star. And dude, literally the whole thing, the whole thing was like, food is good, service is great, you know, all this stuff. Like a paragraph long saying everything is good. The last thing it says, not enough ocean view, and it's a two star Yelp review, dude. It's mm-hmm. like, what the fuck, bro? Like, are you serious? Should they break it in different categories then? Like have a service. They should. Like, a service, ambiance, I don't know, food, 
some shit. Yes. Like, not mm. just one universal score, but, like, have underscores. Well, I mean, like, Amazon does that, right? With the, you know, like, materials quality. They have or... the universal score, and then they have the breakdown Yeah, in that sense. So, I mean, yeah, y'all could do that shit realistically. Yeah, because, Ama- you know what I mean? Amazon does it, like, mm-hmm. the quality of the shit. It, they should totally do that. We should fucking... We're going to make a whelp or something. We're going to make something very close to it, and it's going to be our... Server FMB yelping. I wish there was a rate share server kind of thing, but it's like you'd have to get every server to kind of like enter their shit in a database and shit like that. That'd be dope, though. I mean, we could start it. We could start um, yeah, it. of course. Let's get the software together. We're gonna do it. We're gonna start. We're gonna do it. Delete me. I have a one star. I'm a one. <laughs> they have me rated as a one star server, bro. Delete my shit. Like, yeah. Well, like Vivino, you know, when you take a picture of the bottle and it shows like a score, same mm-hmm. thing like a server almost. Like, let me you see know. your name tag Jamal. <laughs> uncles can we uh get a new server <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like... i see that you have a 4.4 server here can i get that one instead please? exactly it's like, it looks You're... like you forgot your last two entrees <laughs> the <laughs> last time you served <laughs> yeah, like a 2.1 or something mm-hmm. um no i actually today got a raving review from someone um that listens to the podcast from you about you serving them they had no idea so shout out to Antonio, Antonio, um, dude. He he listens to the podcast. He, he listens to fish the house episode. server or yeah yeah Antonio. I, I know he is. Yeah, he came into the work. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. I had him. He, shout out to him. He said excellent. First of all, yeah. appreciate you. He's fucking tight <laughs> as fuck, bro. He's super cool. But then he saw me today. And he's like Logan, and he like pointed at me, and I was like, oh hell yeah, this is something good. <laughs> so he comes over to me, and I was just like, he's like, oh, I saw your boy the other day. I was he was my server, dude. He is fucking great, bro. Yeah, tell him to go tell HR. <laughs> I know, right? Tell him, tell him to tell HR. <laughs> we have five people. Tell him. Um, yeah, and he was just saying how crispy your shit was, how polished you were, how great your language was, how efficient everything was. And he's like, dude, Jamal is the man. Appreciate bro. you, bro. I, I try to uh, give everybody a good time. Yeah. yeah. And he's just <laughs> like, dude, that guy was on point. And I'm just like, hell yeah, he is. I've been saying this for months. No one believes me, dude. It's so dumb. But um, yeah, so actually that's a – I mean it's a verbal five-star. So you know how far that goes. But Exactly. Hey, I'll take, I'll take anything these days. <laughs> Except a one star. Yeah. Exactly. But I mean, as soon as I seen that they were mad I didn't run the food, I was like, okay, there's nothing I can do about this one. This one's just a loss. Well, it's just a stupid ass person. Then. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you want that service, if you want that pampering, come on the slowest day. <laughs> well, if you want that pampering, I don't know, get some pampers or go get a massage. Like, don't go to a restaurant at the mall, dude. Yeah. Especially on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day. No, that just shows that they're idiots, dude. They're just idiots, and there's too much. And they actually tip hella good, too. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they left 18%. Huh. Normally, people that are dumb like that tip really bad, you know? I, I, I mean, the minute I saw their picture, because you can pick, look at their profile picture, I knew that I was like, okay. They had the fucking Manchong special, this guy with the crab legs. Oh, they took pictures of their food and shit? No, no. They, posted you, on they just had his profile picture you can look at. And instantly I was like, oh, that's table 61. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. You knew exactly who it was? That's when I was like, recalled the service. Like, the service wasn't bad at all. Realistic. I mean, food times is long, but everybody's food time is a little long. Yeah. I mean, it, I would expect it, too. When I get to a restaurant, it's a little bit busy. That's why I like to go to a restaurant when it's slow. Because mm-hmm. then I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And then at least I know I'll probably get prompt service, hopefully. And the food won't take that long. Whenever I show up to a restaurant, it's packed. And they're like, oh, it's going to be a 20-minute wait. I'm like, no. People no. do also fuck up a lot when it's slow, though, too. Yeah, that's why you got to find a good medium, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at least. Yeah, when it's slow, you do fuck up, too. Because your brain is off. You're zombie out there. Exactly, just like, yeah. Oh, shit. I make hella mistakes when I'm bit slow. When I'm busy, like today, dude, I was fucking rolling, dude. I had I got all I had all these tables and shit, dude. I didn't make one mistake. Sometimes you just head down in the trenches. It's like... Yeah. And I chew gum. I chew gum the whole way, and I think that's the difference, too. <laughs> I the chomp concentra- on that fucker when I walk away. The concentration just like... Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And I concentrate on like hiding it while I'm talking too. Like I'll hide under my tongue. Like I'm a master hider. <laughs> He's thinking about it at the same time. He's like, all right. How do you like your steak? Yeah. And then I'll walk to the next person and do one chomp, like, <laughs> and then like hide it again. Like, uh, excuse me, just see if I can pull it off, you know? And I, I do. I pull it off every time. I haven't got caught for gum in ten years. <laughs> dope, 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 dope. Every time I'm at work, I'm chewing gum, dude. I'll just forget I have gum. I'll just forget I'm chewing it. And then eventually we... I'm getting in front of guests, but I'll just be in the back. And like maybe a manager will catch me or something. 
Mm, see, I didn't even let the managers get me either. I was chewing gum all day today. <laughs> Chopping away. Yeah. That's real as fuck. Um, you know what I thought about today? The key. What is, Jamal, I want to hear your stance. What is the key to being a great waiter? The key to being a great waiter? Yeah. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm of course I'm thinking the natural stuff, but what's kind of like our F and B, like the more I guess realistic, maybe pessimistic a little bit is what my answer was. Answer like in almost a comedic tone. Uh, the I sound is so condescending. Come here, say your answer in a comedic tone. Common sense. Fantastic. Common sense is probably my answer, I guess you can say. That is fantastic, sir. Because common sense goes a long way. That's fucking for sure. Especially when you're dealing with 30 people at once. Because you have to think about the common good, I guess. Or I don't know. Mm-hmm. That was a bad connection. But yeah, common sense is great. Um, how so common sense? I mean, from the waiter standpoint, it's just like making the next smart decision or do what makes sense. Like, okay, maybe I should do this. Mm-hmm. The next this is logical, like the next logical move. Yeah, yeah. Like it's common sense that you have to do this next instead of like why did you do this and then you walk away and you do that. And he, and I guess that common sense promotes efficiency in yeah. your service. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, I think um, a key to being a great waiter is to ability to deal with people's bullshit and still have a good attitude about it. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Too. That that uh that poker face is crazy. You gotta have a crazy poker face. Yes, a mad poker face, and that's why I thought about today. Cause, like, whenever someone like super irritates you, and you're just like, okay, that's it. You just like, you just feel the smile, like you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Because yeah. you can tell how people ask for shit, and they ask for it in a rude way, like like this or mm-hmm. or how they say it, like i need lemons and you're just like you know that this person is like thinking that you're dumb or thinking less of you and it's just like i had a table on table 14 like a five top taking the order taking everybody's order they had like two kids taking the grandma's order lady the mom interrupts he needs orange juice or apple juice it's like with the kid like he needs apple juice i'm like okay this motherfucker wait like yeah yeah <laughs> if he needs it so bad like i'll get it but not right now my favorite um, I always do this too. I think this happened, uh, not Valentine's, maybe a little bit before Valentine's. So it was the same thing, like a six top. So the, the grandma asked me for coffee. I'm like, okay, yeah, coffee for sure. You know? And then I'm like, is everyone ready to order? And they're like, yeah, yeah, we're ready to order. So I take everyone's order, move around the table. It takes a couple minutes to take the order because asking questions, different things. So first grandma asked me for coffee. I take the order. Probably takes me all like, all of like four or five minutes to take the order from everyone Mm -hmm. i get all the books in my hand and then i'm like okay is there anything else i may get you for the time being and she's like where's my coffee i'm like bitch did i leave the table (laughs) i you i've been standing in your eyesight for the whole time and she's making like as if like i just was like oh i forgot your coffee it's like i I haven't even i've gone off to make attempted to leave the car i'm still in i was standing in front of you for the last five minutes we're still transaction transaction mode like yeah. yeah Like it, it's a different when I'm still standing at the table doing things like, you know, the whole five star thing is like their drink within five minutes, yeah. but that's not the clock. Don't start. So I walk the fuck away. Exactly. <laughs> the <laughs> clock doesn't start until I walk away. I could stand here for 20 minutes and I shit don't still don't start. Yeah. Your drink is still not late. <laughs> you know? Hey, if your daughter or son is asking me all these questions, I can't go anywhere. I'm sorry. Your grandkid is acting. That's up very too. true. The clock does not start. So I walk away no yeah. matter how long I'm standing there. But when she said that to me, I was like. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it out shortly. Exactly. It'll, be, it'll be here shortly. Like, but I try to say it back in a condescending way. Like, it'll be back shortly. Like, I was here the whole time. I'm I'm gonna get it when I can. Like, and that's me right now. Like, oh, I don't know. Part of me, I was I was still taking their orders. Like, yes, <laughs> no, I'll say a slight handed comment like back. Your only way is like just the, the, the kill them like the super politeness. Like, mm-hmm. sorry, is answering all the questions about very common logic things <laughs> to your your granddaughter has a gluten allergy in a. <laughs> She's yeah. trying to order off the gluten menu, so... Uh. <laughs> yeah. She asked me for a grilled cheese, and I'm just... I can't do it because it's full of gluten. <laughs> like, yeah. I was standing here explaining to her what gluten is, even though she's the one with the allergy. Yeah, just taking that kindness. Like, motherfucker, I'm going to be super play to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's your very, very delicious coffee. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah. 
And it's going to be full the whole time you're here. <laughs> Make sure I'm all fucking steaming, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have a, a, plenty of cream and sugar as well. So you're going to be very happy. But you're still grumpy. Oh, and multi- multitasking is probably another one. Yeah. Um, that's I mean, that's not necessary probably in any job. But for sure, the more you can multitask, or the better you can multitask, the, the better way you can be. Mm-hmm. But the more you're capable of doing, I guess you can say. Yeah. I've always wished I had, like, a single task job. But I think... It'd be kind of hard to have it like. Do you ever see like, like if you work on an assembly line and you just like press a button and just yeah, like, I'm, I'm less screwed. Just, like. Yeah, exactly. You just like you think it'd be so monotonous. It probably drives you crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like fuck it. Just like <laughs> black ass job. Like <laughs> yeah, and then just clock out and go home. But like, do you think time would go by so fast doing that at the same time? I don't know, because the, the repeat is probably going to fuck you up, I would think. Like, I think the repeat makes your brain work faster, because you're trying to make time go by, because it's so monotonous. So my, my girlfriend went from restaurants to office job, and she said she doesn't like it. It's just, the pace is crazy slow now. Like, Really? Like, office work? Like, the whole, like, standing around the water cooler and everything? Yeah, yeah. Versus, uh, like, answering emails and shit. Versus, you know, just restaurant action. Here, here, I gotta go here. You gotta get this guest calling me here. Mm-hmm. Gotta get these drinks here. You're basically babysitting people while they're in your your section. Yeah. So, I mean, you have you have tasks in either job, but, like, how can I say it? Your, your tasks, I guess, in the restaurant are just more needy or... It's more time constrictive, I guess. Or, uh... It's almost like your task is due sooner, I guess, almost like... We have, like, 17 tasks at once, mm-hmm. so that's also another thing. But, like, well, it's all based on time. How quickly can it get done is better, you know? The the amount of time it takes for when that guy orders his drink and it comes out, if it comes out a minute, even better, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, the faster everything gets done, the f- better it is, I guess. And that's not the same with office. It's, like, it just, oh, it has to be done by 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's, really like, your all-day kind of task shit. Yeah, yeah. I think the difference in that... Might be a thing. I mean, working construction is pretty cool. It's kind of hard, though. You know, like... I think the physicalness of that can help speed the time up, I guess you can say. Oh, hell just yeah. Lifting as heavy as shit just kind of makes the clock go faster. That and just, like, freaking, okay, got to put up this little wall thingy right here. Like, you just do it, you know? Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then... You need time to build that shit, so... Mm-hmm. Dig the hole and then okay, let's get the concrete together. Get the concrete and then this and that. Although the one thing about construction is you get you do get s- stuck in very like labor intensive jobs that really suck. Like in the middle of it, like like one one job I did was uh, we were pouring the slab of concrete for uh, like a giant warehouse, right? Mm-hmm. So it's literally like I don't know the size of a uh, like a basketball court. Like, the slab. It's huge. Like, it's an airport hangar, right? So, literally, like... Big as fuck. Big as fuck, dude. And it has all rebar in it. But for some reason, because of mandations or something, every single, like, cross-section of rebar has to have, like, a tie on it. Like, a metal tie that you, you literally... It's just, like, really... I don't know. Um, like, a twisty tie. Like, a metal thing. And you just take it, and then you can't even do it with your fingers. So, you have to grab, a, like, a grip thing go like this and spin it, okay. like, three or four times. And literally do that every like two feet down like a basketball court and it gets so monotonous but it sucks because it's all day just standing there like this like spin 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 yeah. all right and then move to the next one and like bend down again and and then you can't like bend down all the way because it's all rebar you can't like squat you know what i mean so it's like oh dude my back was so sore for those like freaking flavor intensive that. yeah that shit sucks doing that for like 10 hours straight dude it sucks that you know? sucks yeah and like literally like by the end of it i'm like and I'm 23 years old, like in shape, and I'm freaking back. Is that's the, I guess the good thing about restaurants is the same task, but every task is a little different, or every table is a little different. I guess you could say because every person is different. Mm-hmm. Even if it's someone you know too, sometimes like people get too comfortable. Yeah, that they're regular or something, and they sometimes can make it harder to be to take up service. You know, like they want to talk or something, and it's just like, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm so I fucking gl- hate that shit, like. Yeah, it's, it's, you know you're about to leave, like yeah, walking away, yeah. But uh, uh, well, I retired in 1997. That's, that's like, dope, but you know, oh shit, like, I'm about to, I gotta fucking go, like. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hair appointment later. Great. Like, it's, 
not pertinent to anything right now. I need to get the table ten ASAP, first of all. Yeah. I saw three more people. I owe this guy some water. <laughs> I've got this guy's catch up like three times. <laughs> I need to get this shit like it. It's been at least ten minutes. I don't think he has any french fries left. I'm fucked. That's the worst. When you finally get some sauce on like, oh here you go. Oh shit. He like, the shit I ate it already. Oh, oh, yeah. My bad, bro. <laughs> I was a little busy up there. Mm-hmm. That dude, that is pretty shame. It's like they're out like tartar sauce and they're like well i mean i just got it. can i get a new tartar absolutely do some shit come back to the table like to fill water it's like i'll be right back with your tartar sauce like <laughs> with your last two fries like oh shit oh dude you know what actually happened to me the other day too is uh this lady was like oh i don't like salt on my stuff like i'm not supposed to have salt i'm like okay i totally like forgot to put no salt in the on a steak it was like seasoned and shit and She's like, the seasoning on that was perfect. And I, <laughs> dude, when she said that, my heart was like. <gasps> <laughs> she, at first, is this sarcasm? Like, <laughs> yeah, because I said, I was like, yeah, well, you know, no seasoning or light seasoning. And, and I totally was like, oh, fuck. And, but she enjoyed it 30, 20% and everything. I was just like, oh, God, no. That's the best. I guess tells you something and then you, you forget and then you're just like. It's something I completely forgot on. Like, like, I was like, supposed to put no salt on that shit. I was like, ah. Oh, they wanted no mushrooms. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> you, yeah. see, you see the mushrooms out there to swim in like <laughs> yeah. how's everything <laughs> so good thanks <laughs> like, oh fuck yeah no salt on my fries and the fries are freaking salty it was actually like, oh fuck my bad. i forgot this guy's malt vinegar i was like they didn't bring the malt vinegar i'll be right back with that sir like <laughs> do you <laughs> they didn't bring the malt vinegar i was like they still didn't bring it yeah oh. i got you like, <laughs> this was a spoon with that malt vinegar too and they forgot it <laughs> yeah um, do you ever, uh, you, well, we always do it. We blame something else. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, that wasn't supposed to come out. Or oh, the kitchen for sure. did this or something. When you, is if I'm ever late for a table and it's like it's been like a minute, like, oh, fuck. I usually just be like, oh, I'm sorry. The server that was couldn't get to you, I'm going to be taking over for oh, yeah. all the time. Just like, <laughs> deepest apologies. They're fucking slammed, but I got you guys. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'll be in the kitchen for sure. Mm hmm. But I mean, I've I've used oh we've we've dropped your food. We had to make a new order or some shit just because like, I forgot the fire or some shit like oh mm-hmm. like all oh, the food owner for dropped the food. We gotta start it over. They brought it to the wrong table. I'm sorry. Like, do you ever use it wasn't up to the quality of chef? So they're yeah, fuck you yeah. Do it? yeah. Like yeah. oh, chef's gotta restart that. I'm sorry. That's a good one to bust out here and there, but it's you can use it too many times sometimes too. It's a hit and miss. Sometimes they're like ah, oh, but sometimes they're like oh okay. But, yeah, oh, appreciate thanks. appreciate like yeah. yeah. It's like, damn, you're supposed to be a chef, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what's funny is to go do to restaurants and hear them say shit like that to me, dude. I am not gullible. You know, like they'll be like, Oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't up to chef's quality. I'm like, you fucking liar. I'm fuck- I know. I really? know I know. Did, who, I run an F and B podcast. Who, who got the fire? Like Yeah. I know you did something wrong. I mean mm-hmm. it's okay if you're busy, like, but I know you're lying to me. Hell yeah. Yeah. I always feel like I have a lot of mistakes when I have a trainee with me. Oh, I make all the mistakes. <laughs> yeah. I re- I was like, yo, fuck, they're possible to be marinara. Fuck, like, yo, chef, hey, like, yeah, damn. Sorry, trainee, like, yeah, I look trash, but. <laughs> I'll be putting shit on wrong tables, too. It's like, yeah, so just open up table, like, 10, and it's just like, did that happen to me the other day? It's like, table 10 or something, and then, you know, the other worker comes, he's like, that's a uh, 15. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like, oh, fuck, and on a normal day, I would got it right for sure. <laughs> it's just, I'm telling, I'm just training. Be coincidence that you're ass being here and shit. Yeah, in my head, it, I know it, but when I say it out loud, it's fucked up. Because in theory, you think you have an extra body working with you. It should be easier because this person's going to bust. They're going to help and all mm-hmm. that. But it's actually kind of, it, it holds you back a little bit. Yeah, know? yeah. I mean, it's kind of like an anchor, especially on the busy days. Mm-hmm. At least you can just kind of tell them, pour water, bust plates. That, that's the best. And you're like, all right, training's over, motherfucker. Now you go to servant mode. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah. do all this shit over here. <laughs> I have a personal buster now that I'm not tipping it's Exactly. Like, hey. <laughs> We're moving now. Yeah. Just follow me and do what I say, and I'll meet up with you every couple of minutes, and you're doing a great job. Get those tables waters. Cool, 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 cool. And when it slows down, I'll let you put the orders in afterwards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The worst day is in the free day when they got to work. Like, they serve, but you take all the money. Oh, yeah. It's like, sorry, bro. <laughs> it was a busy-ass night, too. It's like, oh, sorry, bro. Uh, I'm about to take that 250 Like, <laughs> So you're going to add in the tip. See how it's two fifty? Uh, you'll get 20 of it, because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> it's like... But technically, it's all just... <laughs> yeah. Yo, you got the cash. I got to cash out. Like, yeah. yeah. Usually, you'll give this to the manager, and they'll give you two fifty. But today, they're giving it to me. So Hell, I, I feel like, like the last two times I trained, I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you supported the Jamal Foundation. Well, yeah, I appreciate it. Like, yo, you know, 
I was gonna get this money regardless if you be here or not. Like, <laughs> you just hindered my shit. But they could also lower your tips too. Yeah, yeah. It could be times when that happens, or uh, whenever you get a table and it's like a training, and then the people bust out like really lame jokes or something like that. So I usually try to bust out like lame jokes too. Like my my main one is, oh, you know, my name's Logan. I'll be training. Jamal's gonna be training with me. Um, you know, be nice to me, but mean to him, or you know. Yeah. So if you have any uh, complaint or uh, what's the word? Where it's like a good thing, like complaints or not crazy. compliments. Compliments, yeah. If you have compliments, complaints, like just let us know. Like I'll take the compliments. He'll get the complaints or something, you know. And then, yeah. Because yeah. those cheese balls will cheese you. But you gotta cheese them before they oh, cheese you. You get cheese the fuck out of them, bro. I yeah. just used to be like, oh, they'll be like, oh, there's two of you guys. Oh, VIPs, you know. Oh. So you get two servers. I, I always do that shit. Like oh, VIP, we heard VIPs in house. Like oh. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. Like yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm hitting twenty right now. Exactly. Is like. Dude, that's a really. I'm gonna use that next time. Hey, like, bro, feel free, bro. <laughs> feel free. Yeah. Well, thanks for that one, Jamal. I got another thing that I wrote down. Let's see what I. This is what I wrote down when I was busy as shit today. My brain was on fire. Um. Get time to write some shit down. Oh yeah, I actually, I chew gum, because I feel like it makes my face sexier. Think about it. Interesting. Chewing gum. Work some muscles in your face. Technically. Sort of smiling, though. You work your muscles in your arm. You have, a bi- you have a bigger bicep. You have a sexier bicep. Same thing with your face. You chew gum, chew gum. I think it constructs your face to make it look sexier. True, true. So, Te- technically, yes. Yeah. Hey, right? I mean, the logic's there. In technical terms, yes. You're working the muscle. Mm-hmm. And it's flexing. Jaw's getting stronger. Cheekbones Def- getting stronger. Right. Defining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so I think... Uh, Facts, facts. Yeah, it's a fact. <laughs> fact or fiction, fact. That's fact. That's fact. Okay. That's a fact or fiction. That's a really oh restaurant fact or fiction. Oh, we can do anything fact or fiction. We're gonna do that next week. I'm gonna put some fact yeah, or yeah, fiction together. My camera's coming on Monday. If you if you want to get a second angle what, oh, from bro. here or some shit, just, I would love to have just a ideas. Angle. Just ideas. Yeah, for sure. I've been wanting to do like a two angle thing where it's like one on each of us, you know, mm-hmm. like a zoom in thing. Um, what else did I say? Oh, you can tell the difference between people who will get sugar with their iced tea and unsweetened with their iced tea. Can you guess? If you if you say someone says, I want iced tea, and you're like, would you like me to bring sugar on it? I guess if they say yes or no, and I'm probably about, I'd say, 75% on it. If they're a, a mainland, or like a, if I could tell they're from the south, then yeah. I'll, I'll oh, be, yeah. I know they want sugar with their shit. But if they're like, I don't want to say dorky white people, but like. I don't know, like nerdy, just like a plain, <sighs> plain white person. They'll do. Oh, oh no, hell no, unsweetened. You know. Yeah. Because, yeah. and this is my theory, Jamal. I mean, I think you're gonna like this as a African American male. But white people, they want to struggle. They don't struggle, and they want to struggle. They do things to make themselves struggle. There is some of that. I mean, I, I, I get what you're saying for sure. I mean, that's it's, true. It's just a stony thought I had. Because, like, th- you ever see that meme? And I thought about it because think about the meme where like. It, it has the brown part of the banana. It says, white people won't eat the brown part of the banana, but then they'll do shit like this, and it's like, you know, they put a cot on the side of a cliff, and they're sleeping on it, you know? Like, mm-hmm. it's the same thing, like, ah, I don't know. I, I don't know where that thought's gone, but you know what I mean? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's almost like a guilt thing, but, uh... A guilt thing, okay. I'm just with world peace. Yeah, world peace. And green lives matter. That wasn't a good thought process. I I'm I'm working on that one. I had it better earlier, and I feel like I'm, now I'm forgetting it. No worries. There was this a joke is, at the end of that. This is our forum, so. Yeah. Yeah. But everyone's been listening to that like, what the hell, Logan? That was so stupid. Well, hey, we're working on it. Yeah. We get to say whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> yeah. This is our podcast. We run this network. Oh, yeah. Uh, next episode, we'll probably have a guest. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Oh, because we have the four person. Right? Yes, yes, Dude, yes. we should totally start having guests on shit. Oh, I mean, we're ready to go, technically. Yeah. Because we, I mean, we have the mics, and we... We should start setting up having guests, dude. Like, get a calendar. We can. Calendar shit. For sure. And then we can get your schedule down and my schedule. See, I the, another reason why I want you to work with me is I want you to have the same it's schedule. It's a sketchy-ass schedule. Like, yeah. yeah. My, my schedule is still scattered like a motherfucker. Yeah, because you for sure will have Sunday, Monday off. And you will for sure. So sh- you have Mondays off? I usually... Well, not every I'm thinking. Monday's my podcast day. I work on the Monday, on the podcast continuously... Up until like twelve thirty, 
So in the morning from like, I get a lot of shit done like about eight in the morning, seven thirty in the morning to like twelve thirty in the we morning. We get his pot in the morning on Mondays. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. I usually only work PM that day. See, I like that. We can we can get jacked on coffee and freaking go. Yeah, dude, I like eight to eleven shit. Yeah. Well, when is do you know our guest our first guest schedule? No, I mean. I talked to 4K. He said Mondays is excellent. I asked the surf. He said any day because he works nighttime most of the time. It's good. Heard. So, I mean, those two people are pretty much good, I think, for the most part. Does surf and 4K know each other? No, but they know same some of the same people. Okay. Because then we could probably get a four-personer together, too. That'd be dope, too. Oh, we, hey. And we can get some tag, tag team stools. We could, we could potentially do a six with the other interface. <laughs> So we can put the other interface and plug it into here? And yeah, yeah. And it'll work? Okay. I want to learn how to get the camera to be plugged in. There's a wire that you plug in probably to the back of the interface nowadays. Um, and it will go to the camera? Yeah, and the audio will sync. I'm just not I sure what it. wire that is, but there is guarantee a wire. Holy shit. We need to do that because matching the audio fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, guarantee, bro. That shit's... It blows <laughs> so hard. Okay. We should totally do that. I'm going to be doing that shit soon for music videos, so hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, uh, anything else you want to get into? I mean, I'm good. I just said that really dumb white people thing. Uh, the <laughs> chewing gum to make my face sexier. The key to being a good server is to, you know, people's BS and not get mad. Um, I mean, I just, on a lighter note, like, I work all day and I just want to, I heard a baby crying earlier and I just felt like I wanted to go home and see my that's, child, you that, know? That's some real shit, bro. That's, it, that's dope. It's That's weird. Not, I fuck with that. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, this kid was crying, like a young kid, like same age as my daughter. It was a boy, too, and just crying, crying, crying. And I was like, fuck, I'm working all day. I want to go see my daughter. You know? Like, it was weird. And that was dope. Like, such a dad moment, you that's know? That's dope, eh? That's, that's fucking... Like, I would rather be at home and, and, like, you know, having my daughter cry and, like, trying to fix it than be at fucking work for 14 hours. You know? And then, like, priorities. My family, dude, I, I didn't realize how big family is. Like, even my... Family as in us family, my parents' family, extended family, people that I consider family, like, is the most important thing in the world to me now. And it kind of, I was always kind of a little bit of a selfish person, but, I mean, I still am. We all have to be. We yeah. all are. You got to be a little selfish to kind of survive, I guess you can say. Yes, exactly. Like, with, and even with businessmen, like, think of how ruthless and selfish businessmen are. Like, they, you kind of need that little bit of ego to, like, it's it's confidence in a way too. Like oh, you definitely yourself. need a little ego for sure. Yeah, and um, you got to believe in yourself. Yeah, it is, and that 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 selfishness is you believing in yourself, and that's the first step to doing anything. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, but now as you know, being a father is an everyday thing and everything. I just family is just taking over my my everything. Fuck yeah! It's number one. Like that's the best. I mean. I did drink all night with my friends and stuff, but like, honestly, I, I could scale it back and had half the amount of drinks I would have and then had a better day with my family or, you know, like it's mm -hmm. the, I would have like me the next day eating oysters with all my, you know, my girlfriend, my baby, my sister and, and my mom and dad. It was like, that was much more better than just out at a bar playing pool. Yeah. Drinking, facts, like, facts. Getting drunk as fuck. That, you know? that shit means more. Yeah, it, it, yeah, and I felt great. I was sitting there and looking at it, like had some music playing. It's just like, this is a shit. F and B manhood here, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be a lot nicer in a big ass house, but we're working on it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Steps, 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 steps. The girl could be a hibachi, but we're working on it. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Yeah. So, um, definitely goals aligning and F and B goals. You know. Yeah. And just having everyone there, like, I mean, yeah. Just we have a big house, big parties. You know, the drinking is not, not the main focus. It's the being with each other and yeah, facts, playing 100%. darts and playing Madden against each other and having a good time. That's what I'm about. Fuck you know? yeah. And we'll be there. Well, everybody, we got all the equipment and uh, we'll see who our first guest will be. But uh, this is the FMB Podcast. Logan and Jamal. Jamal and Logan. Hell yeah. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Hit us up on all of our socials. You can find us on any major streaming platform for podcasts. Yeah, I re I also. Oh, here's another thing. We're gonna talk about. I just want to talk about Reddit. For yeah, for sure. Go right ahead. I've been posting shit all over Reddit, and I've gotten banned from a couple places. Nice. One because I kind of 
talk shit to Any someone. publicity is good publicity. Yeah, so I got banned from a couple of things, but it's all good. Like, people ban quick as fuck on Reddit. Um, so, you know what? I, I rebelled, and I created our own FMB podcast subreddit. Nice, yeah, nice. so we have a user get at our, and a subreddit. Get at our Reddit now, too, our subreddit. Yeah. Join in. It's everything FMB. Um, you know, obviously, I'm open to having anyone be a moderator. We can have anyone be our moderator. Facts. Hey, you number one fan, you're our moderator. Exactly. So, uh, if you want in yeah we're just fmb podcast on reddit and Reddit's pretty fucking cool dude mm-hmm. it's i didn't realize i didn't get it until like a month ago and i'm just like now nah, i'm all over it dude it's a great yeah. place and if you work in a restaurant on the island of oahu hit us up we might just pop in your spot yeah looking for free food <laughs> no no no, no. Yeah. <laughs> we might show up though give us some <laughs> discount exactly with some cameras yeah yeah um or we might blow up your spot. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This, this service is trash, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fucking service is trash. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. But uh, this is F&B Podcast. We're out. <laughs>